This question, we want to simplify the square root of 13 minus 4 times root 10. Let's first recall that questions written in the form square root x minus 2 root y and be written in the form root a minus root b. If this sign was plus, this sign would also be plus. So when we look at our question, it looks a little bit different. We have a or here, and we have a 2 here. So we're going to need to manipulate that expression a little bit before we can find our answer. Let's write down our question again. We have square root 13 minus 4 root 10. And we'll assume that we can write that in the form root A minus root B. We will square both sides. And that square will cancel the square root. So we'll have 13 minus 4 root 10 equals root A minus root B all squared. So the first thing we can do is manipulate this term. So let's write 4 root 10. And this can be written as 2 times 2 times root 10. I'm now going to move this to inside this root sign. So we'll do that as 2 times the square root of 2 squared. And the square root of 2 squared is 2, which is that value. And we'll put our 10 back. So we're going to be left with 2 times the square root of 2 squared is 4, 4 tens of 40. So we'll write down 13 minus 4 root 10, which is the same as 2 root 40. So we'll replace the 4 root 10 with that. So we'll have 2 root 40. So now we have it in the correct required form here. So let's expand the perfect square. We have root a squared. So let's write that down. Square root a squared minus 2 times root a times root b plus root b squared. So we'll have 13 minus 2 root 40 equals root a squared is a root b squared is b, so a plus b minus 2 times square root ab. So when we compare both sides, we have ab be equal to 40. And a plus b will be equal to 13. So we have two simultaneous equations. We have a plus b equals 13 as the first equation. And ab equals 40 as the second equation. Let's write our equations again. a plus b equals 13, equation 1. And a times b will equal 40, equation 2. So we want to know what two numbers. When we add, we get 13. And when we multiply them, we get 40. So in this case, a will be equal to 8 and b will be equal to 5. Let's check. 5 times 8 is 40, and 5 plus 8 is 13. Let's write down the original question. We have 13 minus 4 root 10 is the same as root 8 minus root 5. When we take the square root of this number, we should get a positive answer. And this is why I let the larger third be the first number. And root 8 can be simplified as 2 root 2 minus 5. So this is your final answer. Thanks for watching.